Even though Lithuania was famously the last area of Europe to convert to Christianity, the country has since embraced many traditions related to Christmas. And since every culture that observes Christmas might celebrate it differently, it seems like a good time of the year to discuss what Lithuanians do for this important Christian holiday. For this, I asked the Lithuania Explained YouTube community for help and ran all of this information by my Lithuanian wife, who had some additional details to add for each point. My thanks to each and every one of you who took the time to write out the traditions observed by you and your families, and I really do hope this video does it justice. But if there's anything I missed, or you have some regional variations, be sure to leave it in the comments section so that others can read about it and argue about who's right and who's wrong. So there are two main days observed in Lithuania over the Christmas season. Kuchios, which is December 24th, or Christmas Eve, and Kaledos, which is December 25th. Christmas Day. December 26th is also part of the festivities and includes time spent with friends and family, but this tends to be the least important of the three days. To make things clear for foreigners, I'll just refer to them as Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The first thing that everyone mentions is the fact that 12 dishes are prepared for dinner on Christmas Eve, a day which has a higher importance than Christmas Day in Lithuania. Why are there 12 dishes? Well, some say that this represents 12 months of the year although others might say that this represents the 12 apostles of Jesus. This is the main event of the holiday, and one where family members might travel from across the country to gather together in one place. One member of the community adds that it's not really a festive party, and so it seems more like a ritual that is taken quite seriously. For this big meal, eating meat is not allowed. This custom is a Roman Catholic tradition where no meat is consumed on the eve of a feast day. So as a stand-in for meat, Fish is typically one of the main dishes served for the dinner. During this Christmas Eve dinner, you might find some dishes to be more common than others. Here is what some people have mentioned. First, there's balta mishrene, which literally translates to white salad. Every home has its own variation of this dish, but it might include carrots, potatoes, peas, and mayonnaise. Next, there's silke kalinose, which literally translates to herring in fur coats. Others might call it Silke pataluose. Silke. Silka. Pataluosa. Patatuosa. <clears throat> which is herring in bedding. This layered dish combines herring with potatoes, carrots, beets, eggs, and more. You'll definitely have treats called kuchuke. Cha kuchuke. Kachuke. Which are sweet, dice shaped biscuits with poppy seeds. This will be consumed with a milk made from poppy seeds. And when it comes to things to drink, there's a thick, berry-based drink known as Kiselus. I get the sense that religious and non-religious Lithuanians find themselves doing the 12 dishes for the big Christmas Eve meal. But for families who are on the more religious side, they might say or read a prayer before eating, and will share and eat the body of Christ, which is a thin wafer from church known as Kaledaitis or Plotkele. Additionally, at least one candle will be burning throughout the evening. Whether you're religious or not, you might leave an empty chair and plate around the table. This is a symbolic representation of deceased family members joining you for Christmas Eve. I think these are the main traditions, but there are a few more things mentioned that might not apply to all families, or may have faded away over the years. One superstition or belief is that at midnight of Christmas, which is the night of Christmas Eve, animals will speak, and so you're encouraged to stay silent to try and hear what they have to say. There seem to be regional variations to the symbolism of this, as someone else told me that anyone who actually hears an animal speaking will die soon. Another practice is putting hay under the tablecloth to learn about your future fortune. After dinner, each person draws a straw, and the longer the straw, the better fortune you will have in the coming year. Again, there may be variations to this, as my wife says that a shorter straw equates to a shorter life, which just sounds like the other side of the same concept. Getting close to the end of our video, a few people mentioned that there's some tradition of not doing any cleaning after the Christmas Eve dinner, and so you're expected to just leave dirty dishes on the table overnight. And finally, some Lithuanian families may open presents on Christmas Eve instead of the morning of Christmas Day, as is common in other parts of the world. Again, this may vary depending on the family and the region. To end this video, someone said that the core of holiday activities these days is simply getting back home to spend time with family for a few days and to take a break from soul-crushing work, which sounds like a great plan to me. So if you celebrate or observe Christmas, how much of today's video can you relate to? 
how might you and your family do things differently? Leave a comment and let us know. Thanks again to everyone for their help in making this video, and watching it too. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and get a chance to spend some meaningful time with friends and family. I'll see you next time.